Hello, so today we're going to continue with my Raven series and this is going to be the last video. So if you don't remember, this is the design. This is designed by my friend Sunset Dragon. It was based off of a bodysuit by Terry Mugler, so there's the inspiration there. And I made this costume for Katsukan, so if you want to see how it looks completely done, uh, you can stay tuned to the end of the video because there will be a reveal there. But if you want to see it in action at Katsukan, you can check out my Katsukan vlog. So originally I had made some pieces to go underneath the entire costume. It was gonna be a pair of gray leggings and an undershirt, but I decided last minute at the con not to wear those, so I've decided that I'm not going to include those in the video. If you want to see how I made those, uh, it's pretty straightforward. It's just making leggings and a shirt, but if you would like to see that, even though I didn't end up wearing them, let me know and I'll see about making a video on that. But today we're gonna be covering the thigh highs, the belt, and the cape. So those are the last three pieces to finish this costume. The thigh highs, like I mentioned in my previous video about the bodysuit, technically are part of the bodysuit, but because they are a pretty interesting piece, even though they're really straightforward in how they're made, I thought they were very interesting, and I got a lot of comments asking how they were made. So I thought to put them in a separate video from the bodysuit. They were originally gonna be their own video entirely, but they're such a short process that it wasn't gonna be a very long video. So I decided to add the cape and the belt in there as well. But before we get started, I wanted to introduce today's sponsor, Parade. You may have seen Parade around, especially since they just launched on Target, but you might not know that they are a Latina-founded brand that focuses on sustainability and inclusivity. So I get a lot of requests for sustainable size inclusive brands, and I'm really happy to say that Parade goes up to a 3XL on all of their styles and they go up to a 5XL on some of their select styles. So they are size inclusive and they are a sustainable brand. So I'm happy to introduce them to you guys. Personally, I love wearing Parade to the gym. Their seamless styles are smooth and invisible under leggings and they're so stretchy that they're the only underwear I own that doesn't ride up when I'm trying to hit my squats and deadlifts. Their rib fabric is also the comfiest thing to wear around the house and they make me feel cute and put together even if I just rolled out of bed to work at home. You can use my discount code to get 20% off site-wide and you can try Parade out for yourself. So with all that, I think the first thing that I did was talk about the pattern. So let's go look at the thigh-high pattern. For the thigh-high sock pattern, I found a sock pattern online from Make Bra. So this is a free pattern you can find online. And it's got two parts. It's got like the shaped upper and then a sole piece. So that should be super helpful. And then for the top part, I just kind of took the measurements. So I figured out how long I wanted it from where this left off and then kind of made horizontal landmarks where I wanted like the top to be, where my knee goes, where my calf goes, and then just kind of made it up. <laughs> I'm gonna do this out of just the gray that I used for the leggings because this will be under a shoe so it won't be visible. And I don't want to put the sequins like right on my feet because that'll be really uncomfortable and potentially really itchy. So I'm just gonna make the sock part out of here and then do the rest of it out of the sequin fabric. how well you can see it but there's a pattern so I need to try to lay my pattern my like sewing pattern on top of this so that this gets centered and is like on the knee because that's where I want it to land so we're gonna do our best So normally if this was going to go against my skin, I would take all these sequins out and try to make the seam allowance as like bare of sequins as possible and then also like 
finish the seam in some way, but instead it's gonna be against leggings. Like I'm wearing a layer of leggings to simulate gray skin. And then this is gonna go on top of that. So I don't need to worry about how scratchy these sequins would be if they were more up against my skin. Taking all these sequins out is like technically the right way of doing this. Maybe later. <laughs> finish the raw edge where the cape and like the hood meet I'm just doing a strip of the same chiffon and I'm just going to encase that like it's bias tape but it's not bias it's straight up grain because it doesn't need to be bias. Rather than having this cape tie I'm going to be using one of the gems as a clasp so I'm just going to like end this basically at the end or maybe like extend it just a tiny bit so there's more to grab onto. However, if I was making this a tie, I would just be binding this in whatever the tie material is probably. Or if I didn't want that to be visible along the seam, then I could just stitch it into the end of the binding there. the belt, I'm gonna be following Kim Patsy Cosplay's tutorial for the Raven belt. It was one of her Patreon rewards, so I'm not gonna go through it like super detailed step by step because you can buy it from her, um, but I will kind of just generally go through what I'm doing. So I got a resin mold for 50 millimeter round cabochons, so cast a bunch of those. I'm gonna be painting these red on the back with some glittery nail polish. If you haven't seen my tutorial for resin casting, I did that as part of my Frau series, which is still not done, so just, you know, be patient. But I went over how I cast gems and paint them to make them look all nice. I got some wooden rings and they just kind of fit together like this. I'm gonna epoxy them in so that they are nice and secure. To get these wooden rings to be gold, I've spray painted a bunch of them with this Rust-Oleum, yeah, Rust-Oleum primer and filler. I have done that already, so I just did that off camera, but I'm gonna sand these down, and then I'm gonna use my airbrush to paint them gold. That's as far as I've thought through so far, so let's work on that. <laughs>
I hope you guys liked this video and I hope you liked seeing the rest of the process for how Raven was made. I'm super happy with how this costume turned out. I've mentioned that literally in every single other video except for the makeup one, I think. I wasn't super happy with makeup, which is why I didn't end up going with the gray paint, but I am really happy with how the costume itself turned out. There are always gonna be things that I think that I should have done differently, but actually with the thigh highs and the belt and the cape, I really don't have that much that I would have done differently. I think maybe the cape I could have done something else for the shiny strands through it, but I had an idea and I wanted to try it, so I did. The tension for shiny thread is always a little bit iffy. It doesn't really behave like normal thread because it's just a strip of plastic essentially. So I did have a lot of issues with that when I was trying to get that into the chiffon. So that I think would be the biggest problem that I had regarding this whole process. I really wanted to like bunch up and pull at the chiffon. So I had to spend a lot of time like Un ungathering it I guess so like you know how like when you gather something you pull the thread I had to pull the fabric down the thread to make sure that it was not like puckering and pulling and it still was a little bit but I think that once the whole costume is together it doesn't really look super obvious and once it's moving especially it doesn't look very obvious the other thing that I had some issues with Kimpatsu cosplays tutorial was really good really thorough however the materials that she suggested weren't really the sturdiest so i think that using the cabochons um she ended up using real glass cabochons i did resin because i wanted to use up some resin and it ended up making it a lot lighter which i think was great uh that helped a lot however the eye screws that i put into the belt like the side got the little round piece right and then the eye screws that go in to hook all the chains together the eye screws were not very sturdy so I had a lot of issues with those I had a few of them just break off so like I was twisting them into the the like wooden ring and they would just I guess get twisted so much that the metal would weaken and just pop right off so that was not great there were a couple of times where I drilled too big a hole and so the the eye screws were just kind of popping out and like were too loose in the hole. That was easy to fix by just using some E6000, dabbing some E6000 into the hole, sticking the screw in there, tightening it, letting it dry. So that problem was a little easier to fix than the fact that the eye screws just were not very sturdy. So I did end up bringing extra with me just in case they fell apart while I was at the convention because I was very concerned. But Thankfully, nothing bad happened, nothing fell apart, and it all worked out. I would maybe suggest getting larger eye screws. It does affect the look of them, obviously. It makes them a little bit less, like, dainty looking. However, for the peace of mind, it might be worth it. I just, at that point, was like three days out from the con didn't have enough time to go get more that was really the main issue that i came up with with the belt the thigh highs i had no issues those were totally fine um they're really straightforward that was just like make a make a leg leg pattern and then trace that out make sure you get the placement right stitch it right up and that's it and then i bound off the top edges with some stretch spandex that matched the bodysuit like the the bottom half of the bodysuit and just stitch that right to the edge of the bodysuit so that was super straightforward, super easy. That was probably my least difficult piece of this whole costume actually. So for everybody who was wondering where I got them or how to make them, it's very easy. You can just make a pair of your own. The work is all in getting the fabric. So not much work at all actually. <laughs> Every other part was a lot more uh, fussy or difficult or just required more thinking. So this one's pretty easy. So make some for yourself and have some cool thigh highs. I did have a little bit of issue with the shiny coating on the cabochons. So the resin molds that I got were like a brush texture rather than a shiny texture, which was fine. Um, it just means that you have to then coat it with something to make it shiny again, because it's just about like how smooth the surface is. Now I decided to use Krylon Crystal Clear because I've had success with that in the past. Are you gonna focus? There we go. Um, I used Krylon Crystal Clear and it has worked in the past for me, so I thought it would be fine. However, I think that because this is such a rounded shape, it kind of beaded up and like slipped off of it a little bit. So that did not work out the best. Also, it kind of chipped off, like how old nail polish chips off your fingernails. It was chipping off a little bit like that. It was pretty much fine if I didn't handle it a whole ton. And once I was done gluing everything into the wooden rings, then like I didn't have to handle it all. So it worked out okay and was it the best method maybe not but it worked originally I was concerned about the cabochons actually fitting into the wooden rings because I thought the wooden rings were all too big however once they had their coats of paint like the 
gray primer and then they have the gold airbrush paint once all of that layer of paint was on there it actually just thickened the rings up just enough that all of the cabochons just like popped right in there and were the correct size so that was fortunate glad that worked out for me so i think that's everything i've got for you guys today i hope you guys liked this series i hope you liked this video if you did please give it a thumbs up thumbs up for baby bat as well um if you have any questions comments you liked what i did you have i don't know suggestions then leave a comment let me know what you think and if you want to see more videos in the future from me then please subscribe we've got draculaura still to get done and uploaded that was another costume that i made for katsukon so if you are interested in seeing draculaura please subscribe and i also wanted to again thank parade for sponsoring this video you can get a 20 percent off discount with my code you should try them out because they're super comfy very cute size inclusive sustainable like what more could you want from an underwear company and that's it i hope to see you guys in the next video bye